The Art of Living Youth Empowerment Programs provide teens and young adults with practical and effective tools to reduce stress, manage negative emotions, and develop leadership skills. Thousands of youth, teens, and educators in the United States have undergone the Art of Living program and the results are astonishing. I just had a lot more like centeredness and focus and also at the same time energy and just I felt a lot happier. Sometimes I get angry and feel like I'm gonna punch so I just do the breathing, I feel calm and I count, I do exercises and then I go outside and that helps me. By applying this program into the school system it will equip the teachers with the skills to handle everyday life and handle the stress that they're going through in the classrooms and at home. Most of the kids drink as well to get to like calm down and forget about everything, but they can just come and do this and still be healthy. It works, and I do it every day, and it works. It's the best thing I ever did for myself. Yeah, it feels like a weight has been lifted. Educating, empowering, and transforming today's youth to face life's challenges and become better leaders of tomorrow. On March 28, 2007, senators, congressmen, corporate leaders, students, diplomats and social leaders from all walks of life joined hands at the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. to celebrate the Art of Living Foundation's 25 years of service to humanity. The Foundation now has volunteers in more than 140 countries. More than 20 million people have taken its programs. It has an incredible, actually incredible following that cuts through all religions, cultures, and backgrounds. Art of Living Youth programs provide a fresh, fun paradigm to raise aptitude, focus, and academic achievement, reduce violence and aggression, and inspire an I can attitude among youth between the ages of 8 to 28. Transforming the quality of life for youth in less than 20 hours, the programs are offered in schools across the country, from Los Angeles, New York, to right here in Washington, D.C. I once was a shy individual who kept all of my emotions and feelings bottled up inside. I used to let my shyness control my life, but that wasn't until I joined the program. It was a long journey, but over the course, I met lifelong friends, learned new techniques, and gained valuable information about life. But the most important thing that I have learned was that I am the only person that can control my life and I can overcome any obstacle thrown my way. So now I stand before you today as a new person. We live in a world full of hatred, war, violence, and that hate that's always inside of our heart. But we found a way to take rid of that hate in our hearts, and it's through the Youth Empowerment Seminar. Violence and stress play imminent roles in today's pop culture. I know that all of the youth of this country, including myself, have seen the negative effects violence has on our friends, family, and everyone around us. I have always dreamt of changing the world and fixing its many problems, but what we really need to do is change ourselves first. We need to learn how to become happy, stress-free people before we can change others. Strengthening and empowering young people to live life to its fullest potentials. Coming from backgrounds more challenging than many of us can imagine, Many young people have become, through Art of Living programs, not just good citizens and neighbors, but real leaders in their communities and peer groups. And I came here today to talk about my goal, to reduce gang violence in the streets of Washington, D.C. I have seen... <laughs> I have seen young people be shot in front of my eyes. I hear a lot of... I hear about how somebody got hurt or killed in the streets because of gangs. In order to do my part, I took the YES program. Some kids join gangs because they got nobody to relate to, to make them feel wanted and needed. But the program has that and even more. When I took the YES program, I could not wait for school to be over so I could take it. But I'm not gonna tell you what I did in the program because it's something you have to experience for yourself. <laughs> but, I would like to thank everyone that helped me with the program, and I would like to thank Sri Sri Ravi Shankar for inventing this wonderful program. The YES program is like a medicine for depression, anxiety, stress, and things that seem to bring us down. I use everything I learned in the course 
to cope with the pressures of homework, peers, and time. I view everything as an opportunity and a moment to treasure. I think like this because life is short. I feel there's little time to dislike things in the world and have negative thoughts. Keeping this bright and positive attitudes keeps me going through the hardest of time. I think we have reached a stage that we need to bring the human values to every part of the globe. Technology has made the globe shrink into a village and the human values and spirituality will make the globe become a family. We are one world family. We all have a dream and in order to accomplish this dream we need to take responsibility. So today and tomorrow and for all the days to come let's all take responsibility. Are you ready?